But now, it's time for the Eternal Derby. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Welcome back to another episode of Outcast 2 Icons with me, a man who is just, I'm just gunning for a derby, friends. And thankfully, we've got two of them today, including later today, the Eternal Derby. Of course, if you've been enjoying the series up to this point, drop a like on the video. Helps out the channel massively. Thanks in advance. So, it's the final day of the transfer window for a lot of European nations right now. And uh, Strickich, we have had a bid for him it from Zenit of £16 million. Now, his release clause is 30, which is good. He doesn't want to go to Zenit because he wants to go to Crystal Palace. Palace have not even inquired or I've not seen anything in the press about them at all. So, my hope is that he doesn't go to Palace because they don't bid for him in the next hour and a half, two hours, which is great. And then, hopefully, he doesn't then change his mind and want to go to Zenit. And that means we should hopefully be able to keep Strickich for the rest of the season at least. And then we can sort of some stuff out in the summer. We've also got Bosancic, a young, uh, really highly rated young striker under a £3 million bid from Standard Liège. I've rejected it twice. He does want to go there, but he's not complained, and that's very good. They're clearly desperate to get players in as well. Now, our window goes on a bit longer, so I am still looking at centre-back options for us, because I would just like one more just to give us the freedom to play. Like, I love playing Esri Konsa there, but we are losing something as centre-back without him there. We will have to see. That's why we just need Hodak back or another centre-back. But today, we jumping in. Now, obviously, my assistant wants to put Konsa back there right now, but just there's just not a lot of other options right now. Pavlish is not fully fit yet. Longstaff, I will not play there because he, that PPM will ruin us. And then it kind of drops off fairly quickly at that point. So I'm actually tempted to make no changes at all. Is there anyone else that's come back in lately? I think we've still got players on international duty. Hodak isn't fit for a while. He had a cruciate injury, which is not ideal for anybody, um, let alone a man I need really desperately right now. So I might just actually go with the exact same lineup because... Some of these guys have played very, very well lately. Connor Roberts has been amazing. Still not fully settled on the tactical stuff just yet. Uh, still sort of slowly building into it, of course. Uh, I want to kind of give it five games so we can sort of get some proper data again, of course. It's always difficult when building a new tactic because you just don't know how it's going to go from game to game, particularly as Osiak, much better opponent. But the biggest thing for me is still this role here. I, I think that's the one that's more likely to change than anything else right now. It's been a long time since I've actually played a sort of 4 2 3 one star system with two wiggers. Usually I almost always have an inside forward in there and I'm still not opposed to doing that. It's just at the moment, we don't really have one available. Well, we kind of do, but not the quality of Strock. Let's go away from home. In fact, our first three games in charge of the club in the league are all away games. So if we could come through there with some points, that'd be a really strong sign. Um, we saw two particular types of... We saw one very specific type of goal scored in the last game. That lovely corner... No, not corner. That lovely sort of whipped cross uh, to those back post wingers really did do nicely for us. That's a nice sign. Ilicic goes for the long ball and the goalkeeper is there. That right there is exactly what I want to see from the keeper. Campbell. It's a nice ball, actually, for Strzok. It's given him a lot of work to do here, but it's put him into a good position. It's a horrendous tackle from flying in. And so... Sorry? <laughs> what did that even hit? Which is certainly nothing I'd be ashamed of. We did it a lot at previous clubs. Simic, lovely. Rolls the defender. Can he find a ball in? Back post, maybe. And it's... Oh, it's a great save as Strickich's goal is denied. I want to see him score one for us soon. That was nice positioning. Okay, so the first half, they started off quite strongly, but we've definitely been the better side since then, and we're starting to get more of a foothold in possession. Uh, struggling to break them down still, but nevertheless, we're still looking on top. We're actually quite strong defensively. A bit of play, interchanging runs. Consa sort of sitting in between the two centre-backs as well was providing a nice little bit of cover for him as well. Stro oh, lovely stuff. There we go. Little one-touch football. Wiles' his ball in. Simic is head on! A good save from the goalkeeper. That is definitely going to be a goal threat for us this season. <laughs> And Van Kam. It's relative. Oh, it's actually quite a good save from Nikolic. I'm bringing on Massey Longstaff in the middle. And I'm going to maybe make it just a standard attacking midfield on support. Although I might put get further forward on if I can. Yeah. Without setting him to attack. Although it might kind of do that anyway. As it's been a bit of a cagey one for us so far. And I just wanted to make a few little refreshments for us with the remaining part of this game. And it's a good ball in, but Longstaff will come and collect this. It's nice to see Matty Longstaff in one of my... Oh, ball in. Strickich! That is a brilliant save. Vladis Strikic has had two really good chances, and I don't think as much he can do more at that. He's just had a great effort and it's well saved. It's all the way through and cleared away again. We've got to watch the runners here. That was a very... Oh, uh, okay. What a tackle. What a tackle. Nikolic going long. Hugo could win this. He actually has. He's rolled the defender brilliantly. Now we've got runners, I hope. Where's one of them? Oh, strange choice. Strikic! 
Yes! Vlade Strikic in the 87th minute. And oh, he's going to go over and give it large to the other fans. That's what we needed. Oh, Osiek nil. Dinamo Zagreb won. I think that's been coming for much of the second period. Hugo does brilliantly to roll the defender here. Strange choice of pass, but it's a great little ball through from Kem Campbell. And there, Strikic on his favoured left foot. He's making no mistakes with that one. And it is 1-0 to Dinamo. And that is what we needed. And there we go. It might only be a 1-0 win in the derby. But when it's an 87th minute goal like that, you just love to see it. Oh, Gila Bear. Is there more? No, straight to the goalkeeper, but it's going to be 1-0 Dinamo. We're going to go two out of two. Really strong defensive display. And in the second half, we definitely improved in this match and started to grind through them a little bit more. So that's good to see. Strickich scoring a goal is always nice. I'm happy with that. There we go. So, yeah, we pushed them down the league a little bit. In fact, they lose two places as a result of that, which is always hilarious. Just nice to see that one happen. So two ends out of two. Really solid start. We're going to do a little chunk of games off camera. Come back for the big one, though. The eternal derby against Harduk Split. That's the one we really, really want to win. I wonder if it's a home or away. Right then, and we're back. And we started off away at Varajdin, uh, a relatively struggling side. And it took us a little while to get going, but once we did some nice little work on the edge of the box, Simic with the ball through, and Strikic was able to slot us 1-0 up. Just nice to get that off of our back, get him another goal, which is nice to see, and do our job. Connor Roberts with a great ball in then on 20 minutes, and Simic's floating header made it 2-0 and kind of put the game to bed at that point, and we could kind of experiment, and I did exactly that uh, in the last stage of this game. Moved Mihailovic's roll around a little bit more, puts a lovely little ball through here, Simic eventually gets through, and makes it 3-0 to Zaga and that was it but a really strong performance on the night honestly could have had more goals in this game Rocco Simic with two goals and an assist as well he has been phenomenal Strikic with another goal in there too Strock had a bit of a poor day but you'll see that Mihailovic on a 7.2 here uh he was at like a 6.8 before I made those changes with 20 minutes to go and he really was bumping up that rating so definitely gave me something to think about next up it was at home against Gorica our first home game as well which is really nice uh, 80 minutes on the clock lovely little work on the edge here Simic once again through slots that one home we had to play a weakened defense with both fullbacks being out suspended for this game so we were a bit worried about that but on the half Half an hour mark we needn't have been as it comes to the edge of the box from Mihailovic drops it round the side for Strong and then bent back in the back of the net for Strikic for 2-0 and that was all she wrote again so you see the last couple of games we've been very very strong dominating matches having lots of chances lots of shots uh, haven't actually managed to match our XG output lately which is both a good sign and a bad sign because it's one it's good that we're actually creating the opportunities and getting loads of opportunities going forward but we just need to get that cohesion up I think to really start taking them and that's fine we're still winning games and not conceding goals that was until we played Shebenik. Uh So yeah, great block here. Another great block here. The ball is ricocheting all over the place and eventually Illich is able to give them a one goal lead after just five minutes. But we really did start to find a way back into the game at that point. However, on 67 minutes, Ezri Konsa made a horrible error here. Just a terrible back pass. He was forced to play in centre back today. And uh, well, I regret that, but we had no choice, sadly. And we were 2-0 down to Shebenik at that point. But then enter Ramadan Sobi. Great work from him here. Cutting inside on his right foot and just drilling one top bins to make it 2-1 and give us a chance in the 69th minute. But we weren't quite done there. Moments later, Sobby comes up with an absolute worldie. Cuts inside here on his right, drills one low and hard to pull us out a draw with 20 minutes to go and all the momentum going in our favour, which means naturally in the 92nd minute, Katarski getting the ball out on the left here. We've got so many bodies back, but eventually it does come through to Rejlik, gets in there, 3-2. Poor from us. Uh, it's frustrating when you concede they had every shot on target was a goal. Um, it's just one of those days where... We gave them the goals in this one. It was just defensive errors. The goalkeeper wasn't able to save anything. But then, I don't know what more he could have done with the first one. It was just deflections and clearances going wrong. The Esri concert terrible back pass did not help at all. And then the last one as well, it's just a crowd of bodies that it goes through. A uh, very even game. I think we're unlucky to lose this one. Sobby's goals as well really did bail us out. But yeah, I was forced to play Consa as a centre-back in this game. And he did okay. But you could see that we didn't look quite the same because we didn't have that same midfield strength. Although, Pavlish did a decent job in the role when he came in too. So, that's hard to say. It happens sometimes times. All that, of course, leaves us 13 points clear at the top still. Still banging goals away and doing a good job so far. Just a bit of a random game. Only our second defeat of the season. I would have liked to have kept the winning run going a little bit longer, but four straight wins at the start of the season does come to an end. Also, we're playing, we've got five out of our first six league games in charge of the club are away from home, and this is the last one in that spell. The only game we've had at home was the one against Gorica. So we've looked pretty good so far. Um, I'm still unsure about what I want to do about that attacking midfield role. That seems to be my biggest bugbear. I think we're actually quite we're actually quite strong in a lot of areas for the most part but that's the one thing that sort of a little i'm still a little bit unsure of uh, we're obviously going to do the dino Zag at uh, the dino the hard duke split game today with the same stuff and next episode i might with a larger chunk of games make some changes to that and see where we can kind of take it Kem Campbell's also out now for three to four weeks with a pulled hamstring. So Matty Longstaff, who I actually really like in that Mez role, he's doing a really nice job in that position so i'm not bothered about having him come in at all but now it's time for the eternal derby. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Hopefully we're going to 
I don't know, hard duke. We're going to split them in two. We're going to split the atom. We should get Atomic Kitten to do the song. They're, they're, they're still a thing, right? They, they could do Eternal Flame. It'll be great. I am incredibly outdated. This is big. This is very, very big indeed. So Campbell injured. Not ideal. But Concert is definitely coming back in. Is Candelaria now back again? Yes, he is. Uh, I'd still much rather have this setup because for some reason... I mean, maybe it wasn't the only reason, but it was, after all, Consa's back pass, and we did look a bit shaky before. So I'd much rather go back to what I've been doing before, even though I'm not entirely settled on it either. But it's going to be Matty Longstaff here on the left-hand side, and that's completely fine. I've really enjoyed him so far. Strock, Sobby through the middle? I mean, honestly, it'd be hard to drop Sobby after scoring two goals in the last game. Uh, so what happened with Sobby is I started him here, and then I brought on Mihailovic in the second half and moved Sobby over to the left-hand side, and that's actually where he got both those goals from. And Strock's form was, hmm, maybe, maybe we try this instead. Sobby to the left, even though still as a winger, even though he's got that right foot, because after all he's got those two goals like that, and then bring Mihailovic back in there, perhaps. Because uh, Strock has fallen. The problem with Strock in the last game against Shebenik was that we kept getting into these really good positions, but instead of finding that final pass, he would constantly just shoot straight at the defender when there was better options available. I did try to put him on uh, shoot less often after that, but it didn't really seem to have much of an impact. He was just constantly shooting when there was really better ideas elsewhere in the team. But other than that, still pretty happy with it so far. As for the bench, or I mean, Pavlish has to be on the bench for sure instead of Kim Campbell. Adama Traore is back. Which is good. I might give him one more get- uh, No, I'll put him in the squad at least, I suppose, instead of- Ooh, maybe Delic. We've got a lot of right-sided players. Actually, in fairness, like, when whoever makes substitute goalkeepers. There we go. Bring him back in. So, yeah, Adama Traore is definitely an option. I, I love him. And, like, I mean, you can see his attributes in case you're wondering. Like, he is still, despite being 33, very, very good in his physicals in terms of the speed and pace. Not as much as they were, perhaps, but still a bloody good player. But- I love how good Simic is at the back post for those crosses, and I don't think we'd get that with Adama Traore. Part of me does worry that we're maybe with the overall system, we're maybe not getting the best out of Strikic, but it's hard to know when you're the best team in the league and you're going to be dominating a lot of games and teams are going to sit back against you. He's not going to find a lot of gaps in behind. Um, I think he might come off the leash a bit more in games like this and against Osijek, for example. Let's go. Massive stadium here. They're in great form. We were in great form other than that little uh, cheeky defeat against uh, Shibet Shibenek. So I think we've still got the quality to come here and grab the victory, and that would be a massive step up for us. Interesting to see how Sobby does on the left-hand side from the start. Longstaff starting as well. Strikic, this is where we need him to be big. At the end of the day, we're still 13 points above them. A defeat would be bad, would be very bad. Last thing I want is back-to-back -back defeats. Basila has been absolutely phenomenal. He's actually got the highest average rating of any player in the league this season. That's how good he's been at centre-back for us this year. Both going forward with a few goals from set pieces, but also just general defensive play has been phenomenal. Some nice one-touch stuff here. We've got to be careful, though. They're, they're a better side than we're used to playing lately. Ramadan. Cutting through. Ooh, okay. That's a very strange decision from Sobby. And that could cost us, potentially. Caprioli's in behind, and the goalkeeper needs to be big here, and he's not. And Matteo Caprioli has scored for Harduke, and that is the last thing we needed right there. And... I mean, I don't... Sobby's shot, it, I don't, it... Was that a shot? Was that a pass? I don't know what it was. But whatever it was, it was not good. And it has just rebounded straight from that. And we've not been able to cover ourselves behind Caprioli. We have got the line slightly deeper, but it's not done us there. I just don't think they were prepared for that situation, given we were in possession. Right, not a good start. Although... Yes, well played. That's what I want to see. Connor Roberts driving forward. Konsa wins it. Simic is through. He has to finish! That's an unbelievable save from Ivusic. Um, Simic is usually so good in those positions, but... I don't know what more he could have done there. Roberts' ball. Ramadan Sobby. Mihailovic. And it's a... I mean, I think Sobby maybe could have just shot that. Or, like, got the header away. One of the other things I find with... Oh, hello, Longstaff. Ramadan Sobby again. And it's a well save from the goalkeeper. Strikic can't get there. But, yeah, with the advanced playmaker, I find that sometimes they drop too deep. And he'll occupy... I mean, there, but sometimes it'll even be as far back as here, where I'd really want Concert to be. And I feel like as an attacking midfielder with some different instructions, it would stop him from doing that as often. Because I do think that that does hinder us at times. It's one less body in an attacking area when we already have players in those positions for that exact reason. Caprioli's driving forward. Please don't foul him. We've missed our chances today, and we are handing them things on a plate with stuff like that. Ben, what are you doing? Have they got VAR? And it's a penalty. I mean, it is a penalty. Abouashek with the strike, and it's well saved by Nikolic, and it's not even got out of play. Can Konsa set us away? No, he can't. Longstaff's ball in. Goalkeeper's there, and it's it's in. It's, is that offside? Oh, please, no. Oh. Where is he? Oh, no, from the original free kick. Oh. <laughs> yep, I see why they call it the Eternal Derby. 
Well, Hylovich will keep this in. He does keep it up at half time anyway. Yeah, we've got some work to do. Admittedly, without the penalty, but the, it was given, so it has to count. I'd say we're lucky not to be more goals down at the moment. I might turn on pass into space, actually. And I'm going to make that change now and just see how he does for the second half. Still on support. I don't want to push too many attacking bodies forward in this position. But then what I will do, what I've done in the previous ones when I've tested this, is go get further forward and move into channels. You learn by doing and you learn by losing. I feel a lot better about this if we hadn't come off of the back of a defeat in a game that was just like one of those ones where we were just making mistakes more than anything. Great tackle from Connor Roberts that time. Concert to bring it out from the back maybe for us. That's a nice ball for Sobby. Right, this is where we need that run. And to be fair, they're tracking his runs very, very effic efficiently so far. Longstaff. Oh, well played. Longstaff. Can he square it for someone? Simic is not there. Well, he is, but it's actually quite a poor cross or he's just timed his run poorly. Oh, Simic again on the chest. This is better. Driving inside. Simic again. Pulls it across for Longstaff and it's blocked by his own player that time. Come on. Equalizer here and things start to turn. Roberts his ball in. Basia. Oh. Wait, penalty? No way! Are we getting a penalty? Well, I just don't know how. Yes! I mean, I personally, I, we need that, but I do not think it was a pen. Uh, I didn't really see anything there. Strikic now against Harduk. This is a big moment for the lad. Come on, Vlade, you can do it, buddy. And he does! Harduk won, Dinamo Zagreb won, Vlade Strikic. He, I was just about to make a change with him, potentially, but now, having scored that penalty, he has pulled himself right back into this game and pulled us back into it with him. Uh, it's been a bit of a tough one for us, and for them, in fairness. It's not been a good game for either side, and we've got a, a lucky equaliser, you might say. I've also just moved over Strikic to being a pressing forward on attack for a second. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and I've moved our attacking midfielder to attack as well which is far from that bad when it could have been. And there it is, I think. That's surely it. Both teams have had penalties. They just happen to miss theirs. And there we go. We've got a one-all draw. It's not the end of the world. I think we fought hard to pull ourselves back into this game when it was looking a bit lost for us. Um, oh, if Sobby just wasn't that tiny little fraction offside and Simic could have taken his chance. Certainly not too bothered about that. It's probably the toughest game we'll have all season is away at Harduk. So to get a point there, I'm not entirely fussed uh, by that. Great work from the goalkeeper. Deserves his man of the match award. But well done for Strikic for getting that pen though. So we preserve our 13 point gap at the top of the league. And I do believe that we will be able to extend it as the season wears on. But that was a tough game. But nevertheless, that's the hand we've been dealt. So hopefully we can pick things back up again as our next little run of games. You know, 7th, 6th, bottom we got Rieko, who are third. Then it does get a bit tougher. But we're going to do a big... Oh, we might actually do the next... Ep no, like come back for the uh, the cup game, potentially, as the, sec as the second game in that episode. That'd be pretty cool. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, we've got to play them twice more this season. <laughs> but a lot of home games to come, which should help us as well. If you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, drop a like. That'd be fantastic. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That'd be awesome, too. I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So go follow there as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more madness in Croatia. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Capybara, bye-bye.